avoid black cats, breaking mirrors, going under ladders. We're 13 days away from Halloween. Yeah, it's the season of ghosts and ghouls. And recently, Dave took a break from the Weather Center to do a little nighttime paranormal research. And Dave, I hear you found a little something. Found a little something. You know, my mind is uh, very scientific. I, I don't laugh, but it, it, it's the way I think. I, you have to find me a reason to believe or I can disprove it. Well, let's see what I found when I head down to uh, Centro Asturiano de Tampa. My paranormal investigation took me to historic Ebor City. Centro Asturiano de Tampa, the premier Cuban club of 1914, where culture and history lie deep in these walls. I once had a paranormal experience a few years ago on vacation and have been intrigued ever since. So I teamed up with two paranormal investigative groups, Flash and Aura. You know that a man used to live here, do you still take care of his place? To try to learn more and maybe contact the other side. In the early 1900s, the building played host to many immigrant workers from Ybor City. This was a place where workers came to relax and be entertained. We're going to set up our equipment. We usually like to use these K2 meters, the locations that we feel will get activity. Tell me how many spirits are up here with us. And we're going to walk through with voice recorders. If there's anybody here with us right now, can you make a noise or a sound? What are you looking for specifically? Well, we go in. As we were recording our interview with Sarah, it was interrupted by an EVP body captured in the backstage area of the theater. We quickly investigated. Was somebody trapped in this room? The unknown sound Bonnie captured may have been from an old caretaker who lived in the building. Employees claim to have seen an image of a man sitting in the rafters. How many people are here with you? How many people are here with you? Well, I was initially drawn to this building um, because there were stories of a man and a woman being seen sitting in a front row of the theater. I used dousing rods on this part of the investigation and asked questions to the couple. Are you upset that we are here? If you are upset, cross the rods. If you're not, pull them apart. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. As we close this investigation, this is by no means an open or shut case. And Central Historiano de Tampa will remain as one of Ebor City's greatest mysteries. First of all, I want to thank photojournalist John Deal, who did a tremendous job. He did all the work with this. this yeah, was, yes, this he was did. Yeah, almost too good there, Dad. And, 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 and I have two sides of the coin over here. I got Russell, Mr. Skeptic, over here, and then I have Jen. I will tell Wait, you. I'm in it, too. I'm, okay, I'm a believer. I will tell you, those little rods, I promise you, I did not move those. I promise you. Now, that doesn't say that is an absolute proof, because scientific mind says that's not absolute proof. But it wasn't disproven, although Russell was just making the face all the way through the story. Russell, what do you think? <laughs> I'll say this. It was well put together. It was very well put together. It might even win you an award somewhere. It was so well put together. John Deal did a fine job. He did a fine story. job. Well, how about this then? Would you like to undergo one of those investigations with Mr. Deal? Can sure. you take the paranormal challenge? Of course. I'll you want to go? I'll spend the night in there. Yeah. Folks, dun, dun, dun. you heard it. You heard it. Okay, let's see what's happening outside this morning. Is uh, it is six thirty.